Yes, they are. These qualifications are accepted by all major universities in countries such as the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and Hong Kong, as well as by universities in the UK. As these are international qualifications, they are very useful when applying to gain entry to university in a range of locations. They are also useful for adult learners wishing to undertake lifelong learning for both work and pleasure. This depends on what you hope to study and how competitive your target university is to get into. However, it is common for students to take three GCE or IAL subjects and sometimes you might take four. You should check to see if your target course has any compulsory subjects before deciding on your enrolment options. If you want to study architecture at university, you would probably choose to study physics and maths along with a third subject such as economics or chemistry. Most ITS students take three A-levels full-time or one or two A-levels part-time in conjunction with other syllabuses such as BTEC or the IB. There is no formal fixed number of IGCSE subjects required. It is helpful for you to take English and Maths and it might also be helpful to take subjects which you're thinking of taking later as A-level subjects or other curricula. Many schools make this their minimum requirement. However, it is possible to apply to schools and universities without any IGCSE subjects. As a guide, IGCSE First Language English and IGCSE Maths will fulfil basic entry requirements for all UK universities. IGCSE results do sometimes help towards a university application, but you can still apply to university even if you don't have IGCSE results. It will depend on what else you've done and whether you've completed your secondary education. You should consult a higher education specialist to get advice on this point as it relates to your own case. There aren't any, but the subjects are all taught in English, with the obvious exception of modern foreign languages. So you do need to be able to learn and study in English.